news when it comes to protecting our youngest from the virus. Moderna says its COVID-19 vaccine produced a strong immune response in children under the age of five. The company plans to seek emergency use authorization as soon as possible. So for more on this, we're going to bring in our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, this afternoon. And Moderna releasing those interim results, Doc. Uh, clinical trial, what can you tell us about this? Uh, it's good news. Yeah. I'm excited about it, and I'm happy to share it. And here's the thing, right? I, I'm happy to share it because of the fact that Moderna is now saying that, listen, our clinical trials at 6,900 kids between the ages of two, I'm sorry, between the ages of six months and five years, and just like adults, Children were given two doses 28 days apart. However, the dosing amount for our youngest group of kids is much smaller, just 25 micrograms per shot. But smaller doses does not mean less effective. Interim results found that the lower dose produced a robust neutralizing antibody response. And the levels, Glenda, were very similar to the results Moderna saw in adult trials. Now you asked how well did the vaccine protect against infection? Well, Moderna broke it down into two categories. For the kids between the ages of two and five, vaccine efficacy was found to be 37.5. And for the little ones, aged six months to two years, the efficacy was a little higher at 43.7%. Now, this is obviously a much lower efficacy rate when compared to Moderna's vaccines when they were first approved for adults, but we all know the virus has mutated. We're now dealing with the Omicron variant, and Moderna is planning to study a booster shot in children six months and older, which would also target the Omicron variant. So, Doc, what about the side effects? You know, myocarditis, a big concern for many parents. We've seen it in young men. Yeah, and, and parents ask me that all okay. the time. And so what Moderna is saying is this, that its vaccine is well tolerated and there were no new safety concerns. Most reactions were mild uh, or moderate and typically followed the second dose. It was not surprising to see some kids develop a fever, a side effect that can also happen in adults. About 17%, Glenda, of the kids were un, uh, under two years of age and 14.6% of two to five years uh, of age developed a fever over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Only a few kids developed a fever higher than 104 degrees Fahrenheit. As for myocarditis and pericarditis, your question, the two types of heart inflammation, no cases were observed in the trials, which is great news. I do want to mention that there were breakthrough infections in the clinical trials, but they were all mild, important to know, and none of the kids developed severe illness. I'm super excited that Moderna is seeking emergency use authorization for the younger kids under the age of five. To me, it's personal because that includes my two-year-old son, Rocky. And, and this is the group uh, that's, that's not able to yet get any vaccination against COVID. And I believe it's important to protect all age groups. This virus is unpredictable, very contagious. And the way we get past this is to vaccinate and protect people so we can get back to normalcy. Uh, you know, and, and, and normalcy may be a different thing, but at least get back to some normal life. And the only way to do that is to protect ourselves. All right, Doc, thank you so much. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Well, if you have a coronavirus question or any other question for the good doctor, email him at drnandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. We'll get it right to him.